Let's get this party started! This is boxing! This is top rank! She loves to talk about like, oh, I'm not, she doesn't know where she's at now. She's gonna feel a real welterweight. It feels like, this is not my first fight at welterweight. Everyone said I was so small or so big and lightweight. I'm a natural welterweight. I've just been fighting down. Training this morning at 11-ish, then treadmill tonight. Tomorrow I'll switch it up, we'll do the treadmill in the morning, then I'll go train for my last workout of the whole camp in the evening. Get ready for, get the last few pounds off for wins. I'm chill because I'm fighting at 147, I'm not trying to make 130 pounds. <laughs> but no, I just feel good, yeah, I'm relaxed. I feel real good about this fight. All the fights that feel good. She's a young athlete that works hard. She primed for this bout. I think it's gonna be a great bout. I just hope they don't make it about the coaches, make it about the athletes. Making weights kind of like a ritual, right? Like you sacrifice. It's like a body cleanse, the detox. You eat right, you sacrifice certain things that you want. And uh, to me, it's necessary to get yourself, your body, and your mind ready for battle. Well, when it end up not beautiful boxing skills, end up being a war, they just try to knock each other head off. If Michaela used her boxing skills, she got way better boxing skills. She got all the talent, you know. But I remember a long while back in the 60s, I had a kid boxing. He let it got personal. Next thing I knew, he was doing one of these numbers. He had got away from the game plan. She stayed game plan. I think we're gonna have a, a long night, but an easy night. That's the way I like to see it, you know? Coach Al used to be like really, really like hard on me. Like for the longest time, like the first five, six years of my pro career, and especially the amateurs, really hard on me. I always wanted to know where I was. I was afraid of him. I think he was just tough on me because he wanted to make sure I was doing everything right. He's always been a tough coach. And he's, he knows what it's like to have athletes. That he doesn't want anything stupid to happen, but you know, now I have experience and he knows that and he trusts me a little more. So he's lightened up so much. It's like night and day. He doesn't even ask he's my weight anymore. He just knows, it's like I am on it. I'm the way that be 81. Man, what my mother used to say, she didn't know if I was trick or treat. <laughs> you were, were a treat, I learned about it. <laughs> the bees my mom gave me, I don't know. <laughs> Press conference, I mean, saying he'll come face to face and, you know, she can say what she wants in the <sighs> interviews. She can say all the BS, but she's gonna have to speak the truth on the stage because if not, I'll be there to fact check her. Big fight, Michaela Mayer versus Sandy Ryan, and we out here in New York right now, super excited about that. It's gonna be a whole vibe. Um, I think that I'm just gonna answer Christina Poncher's questions and speak the facts. That's what I always do. You know, I'm gonna answer the questions honestly. I think I have truth on my side. At the end of the day, like I said, I'm just speaking the facts from my my point of view and what happened to me in this situation, where, where it got me, but ultimately, this fight has only got made because of me separating myself from Coach K and moving on to another team. And that's the only reason this fight really got made, because if I would have stayed under that, that, that roof, everyone would have navigated around me. So I just did what I had to do to give the fans the fight that they want to see. Come out looking crazy, huh? Son. No, I mean, no haircut. No, nah, no haircut. Nah, so I'm working out just like this. I don't care, bro. Tight clip flops. I'm looking crazy, you know what I'm saying? Just rolled, just rolled out of bed, you know what I'm saying? We are on our way to the press conference. 15 minutes out. Should be a good one. Oh, it's gonna be a whole heck of a lot of spice. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. These two ladies have been going back and forth on social media. Now they will go back and forth face to face. So that's something I'm very much looking forward to as we kick off fight week from the Big Apple. Spicy. What's up? What's up? We're ready to kick some ass, you know? 
pressing time. What's going on, man? Man, we coming up here to see what they gonna say about us, man. They been talking all camp. No, we are gonna do all the talking in the ring. I'm about to shut this Karen out. This goddamn Karen, she talk too much. God damn it. We here to fight. We ain't here to talk. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is boxing. This is top rank. Man, do we have a good one. Sandy Ryan puts her title on the line as she takes on Michaela Mayer. Kicking off our ESPN card, Bruce Carrington, Suleiman Segawa. We're back in Shu York City. You fired up? I got a hundred guns, a hundred clips. I'm from Shu York. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I'm always fired up, man. You know, uh, we're here in the hometown. I'm hungry, I'm angry, and I'm ready to fight. Xander Zayas. Damien Sosa, thank you gentlemen for being here. Every opponent presents something different and Damien Sosa is not the exception. I feel like he's gonna come in and um, be a Mexican warrior. Um, I'm expecting the best Damien Sosa ever and um, he's coming He's coming ready to fight. He's gonna throw a lot of punches, put a lot of pressure, but I'm ready for that, man. He will not try, he will not mess with the game plan. Everybody has tried 19 fights. They, ne they just haven't been successful. Everything is good now, but anything can change in a matter of, of a second. So we gotta stay locked in, we gotta stay focused. Just continue to have fun. When we come back, Christina Poncher will be sitting down with Sandy Ryan and Michaela Mayer. There's been a lot of chatter about our main event going down Friday. I can feel the tension already up here. This is the first time both ladies have sat on the stage, have been this close to each other. Things used to be a little bit more cordial between the two of you. Your thoughts on kind of your past relationship prior to the fight being announced with Michaela. I've always respected her as a fighter. I don't respect her as a, as a person now. How she's been leading up to this fight, once it got made. Yeah, I mean, we do know each other from the amateur days. She said she respected me. Then you would think some type of, hey, Michaela, guess what? I'm coming to train in America, your gym, with, coach, with your coaches and your team. Like, aren't you Flicky excited? Your coach. None of that Sorry. happened. Sorry. So obviously, in my mind, she knew she was doing something a little bit shady. Why did I never come over here for, to trouble Michaela May? I come over here to better my own career. But you knew that you were coming to my gym and you knew that it was kind of a step in, on my toes. Yeah, I came when over. When you officially came, came there, you knew. OK, <laughs> one second. Here she goes with a yapping. Gonna pull some Message receipt. from Sandy. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Secondly, sorry I didn't reach out before, but I should have spoke to you out of respect. Firstly, after asking Kay to train me, as in reality, I'm coming into your territory. So don't try and backtrack now. Just be straight up. You did what you had to yeah, do to fight it. Uh, yeah, Just own it. Kay. Just own it. Because Kay. Own it. Because Kate and Flick, they, they're brothers. They're a team, yes. That's what I've been saying. Let's Has Flick time. ever been in your corner? Has Flick ever been in your corner? No, it's not Have about you ever paid Flick. Guy? You're not here for Flick. You didn't come all the way from the UK for t-shirt boy Flick. Flick's never <laughs> a day in his life. He's never even put on the gloves. You came for Kay. Hey, what did we do in my last fight? We flick in my corner. And Coach oh. K in your corner. We all saw He wasn't it, in my Andy. corner. He, was in the, he, was in the, he wasn't even on the canvas. He was warming you up in the freaking dressing room. We all saw this. Just own it. Own it. Thank you. Tell her Next own question. it. Next question. Cut all the BS talk. There's two great women fighters up here fighting, headlining at Madison Square Garden. And it don't get much bigger than bigger than that for women's boxing. You're going to get us going forward at some point in this fight, and uh, it's going to be exciting for sure. I, I, I'm coming for a wall. Go ahead, face off, girls. Save it for Friday, please. Please save it for Friday. Hey, Steel! Yeah. Steel 147! Yeah! Only words. Lay down! There you go. We're good, girls. Thank you. Don't make me get in between. Come on. Girls. 
Come on. Three, two, one. We're good. Please, 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 please. All right. Trash, trashy woman. Every fight means everything to me, but obviously there's certain fights that. Uh, Andy Taylor gave her the double bird. Are a little bit more. What important. he said in there. Just and new, and new. She just was saying I'm the new, and I said you'll see, and I just said it's just me and you in there since Friday, Friday night. night. I had to respect her as a fighter, that's it. but I'm and not she, as a she's going to feel the force. She makes, you will feel the force. She was yapping, but I thought she was going to be yapping a bit more. Hey, but we got respect. At, we got her respect at the end. I noticed that. So I know she. So I know. I know she respects me. I think that we earned her, uh, our respect, and uh, we got under her skin instead of she trying to get under ours. I'm glad you're doing good, bro. I'm yeah, glad yeah. we're back here. Yeah, yeah. You shut it down last time we got Yeah, you've been putting on the show, man. Yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy for you, bro. I'm happy for you. Bro. He's one of the rare few dudes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, man. I'm just happy to see other people win. The way I see it, if you're getting your money and I'm getting my money, why do I gotta get in the way of your money? If we're both getting the money, you know, we're both getting the bag. That's at the end of the day, that's what it, that's what it comes down to. We're gonna be at the top yeah. and celebrate with each yeah. other. Yeah. I feel like at this point, we are like just pushing each other, each and every one of our performances. They just like, dang, yo, yo, hey, yo, yo, Xander did his thing his last yeah, 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 I got stuff yeah, I gave sure, up for his sure, sure. So, you know, all, all little things like that, that kind of helps us out. The energy at the garden is amazing. It's the best. It's honestly, especially for me, because, you know, I live here. You know, no, my but, crowd but, go crazy. Yeah, and it's, it's, I, feel like it's all, I, I feel like it's always, it's always crazy. It's, it's a magic place, you know, like for me, like I always dreamed to be in this arena. MSG was always the place, man, like I would love to fight there. We just gonna perform for the fans. That's yeah. all we focus I on. Feel like, I, feel like, I feel like, I feel like we all gonna steal the show in our own way. You know, you get what I'm saying? Like we, we, I never go in there thinking, oh, I have to look better than anybody. I just gotta look better for myself. Look, look, make the improvement, make the adjustments and win the fight. Cause at the end of the day, if I don't win the fight, then nobody's gonna yeah, steal the show. Right. They exactly. gonna steal the yeah, show yeah, for yeah. me. That's a fact. That's, that's true. That's the main thing. <laughs> Yo, open the door. Open the door, man. <laughs> Welcome to my penthouse suite, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> all the hard work is done. We didn't did all the hard work already in terms of, you know what I mean, just focusing on the, 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 the game plan, focusing on the game plan, focusing on you know, the technique and everything. We did all the hard work already. Now we just weight cut right now. I'm only a few pounds away. There's no point in stressing it, you know what I mean? I'm putting too much energy into it. I always joke about Shushu, man, the best at 126. Minato lost. There's only the right. And then my man got to take over the division, <laughs> man. He, 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 he the best at 126, I believe. I just think uh, people got to give him a shot. I'm really ready for these world champions right now, and it's only a matter of time. These guys can't keep running for me. It's only a matter of time.